Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a potion hut. Do you love brewing potions? I know you do, but you just don't have anywhere special to put them, or to make them. Well, luckily for you, I've bought you this wonderful looking potion hut. This place personifies brewing, it really does. The whole place is just a big giant glass bottle, and as you can see, there's water being distilled through there. Not only does it look wildly functional, but it is wildly functional. If we have a look at the interior here, you'll notice that you have plenty of places to keep and brew potions. The whole place is just designed to do exactly that, so if you're lacking something like this in your village or your town, or maybe even your city, then this is going to be the perfect build for you. This is part of my survival build series and I made this after you suggested it on my mining hut video. So please, like this video if you enjoy builds like this, suggest what else you might like to see added to a survival village and also subscribe for more. But that is way more than enough talking, why don't I show you how to build this. So if you want to make it, Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some oak wood planks, some spruce wood stairs, some spruce wood slabs, some white stained glass, some orange hardened clay, some oak fence, some oak wood stairs, some oak wood slabs, and some water buckets. Plus, we'll need a whole host of other stuff later on, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Anyone else notice the pig in the tree? I just did. That scared me just a little bit. I thought it was a giant pink squirrel. Well, once you have all of your stuff, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it on this conveniently placed circle of oak wood planks, well, you're going to want to begin your build with a row of three oak wood planks in a row on the floor. That's one, two, three. Then, as if you were looking down on the build, you want to do two upright diagonals from that third plank. It'll look like one and two. Then go up two, do two up left diagonals, left two, two bottom left diagonals, down two, then do a bottom right diagonal to connect all the way back to where you very first started. Wonderful. Take out your spruce wood stairs. Begin with this first row of three, because this is going to be the beginning of our house, the entrance to the house, or the hub, and we want to do an upside down spruce wood stairs left and right of this row of three. Knock through the center block. Then place a spruce wood slab, making sure not to have them connect, going all the way around the upper half of the oak wood planks that make up the base of the hut. You want to have something which should look like this. On top of the planks, or on top of the slabs rather, I'm, I'm sorry, on top of the spruce wood slabs, place two white stained glass on top of each one of them. One, two, one, two. One, two, etc, etc. I don't want to keep counting two over and over and over again. But you want to add two layers of glass going all the way around on top of those spruce wood slabs until eventually every single one of those slabs has white stained glass block on top of them, like that. By the way, something that you can do, right at the very start, also place white stained glass on top of the oak wood planks, left and right of the entrance, and connect them just at the top, like this. That's quite important, because otherwise we'll have a big gaping gap in the front of our hut, and we don't really want that. Well, once you've got that taken care of, what you can now do is you can place a layer of free glass on top of that top row of free glass that you've just placed. If that makes any sense to you, it'll look like that. And what we then want to do is we want to add a ring of white stained glass block that goes all the way around the top and inside of the shape that we've just formed. So we are essentially emulating that oak wood plank ring that we have down below us. So just to give you a little bit of reference, it'll look like this. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's glass on glass and it's all transparent, but I'm sure you'll see what I'm talking about. Add another layer of glass on top of that first initial layer of glass, like this. There you go. Then do that again, except you, it of course wants to be one block higher and one block inwards. Plus, this time we only want to add one layer of glass. We don't want to add a two layers on top of each other. And just in case you're curious, that pig is still in the tree. Once you've done that, we then, for this next part, we want to add yet another layer of glass, one row inwards and one row higher, and this row of glass does once again kind of want to go all the way around like this, and kind of like a square shape this time. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to place... We want to place a spruce wood stair 
in front of each end of that row of free glass that we've now formed. So it wants to look like this. It's actually easier to see what I'm talking about rather than try and explain it. But we want to place a spruce wood stair facing towards us on each relevant side in front of the first block and third block in the four rows of three. Then place a spruce wood slab connecting each one of those. So it wants to look a little something like that. So we want to have kind of like around the neck of the bottle. It, it just wants to be a bit of a stopper. In reality, it kind of is just an easier way to grip it if, it if you were like a giant and could grab it. Plus, it looks good. So what we now want to do is we want to, with our white stained glass block, we want to go up on top of the left hand block the right hand block, the front block, and the back block. Basically, the blocks touching these spruce slabs, and we want to extend them up each by two with the glass. That's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Place an orange hardened clay right in the center of the glass. Add a layer of orange clay that goes all the way above the glass. So we want to add a layer of orange clay that sits one row above and kind of like overhangs the corners of the glass that we've made. Plus, we want to add a single orange clay right at the top, poking out. And that is what we should end up with. We should have a pretty cool looking bowl, to be honest with you. That's a pretty nice looking bowl, if I do say so myself. Well, once you have your great looking bottle, we now want to do a little bit to the inside. So for the inside, we're going to want to take out our spruce wood stairs. And we want to be here. So can you see here? It's basically like the third row of glass as you come up. It's this first row, second row, third row. And we want to have this and it's it's a bit tricky to tricky to do because of how we're positioned but we want to have kind of like it's it's so hard to do but we we want to have okay a spruce wood slab coming in from each one of the ends of the corners of the inside so if that makes sense we kind of want to have like spruce wood slabs like on the corners of the inside of this particular row of the bottle if that makes sense and then we want to, we're going to have to break some glass here. We're going to want to have some spruce wood stairs in between them facing outwards. So unfortunately, we have had to break the glass. But it's kind of necessary because it does make the build look a little bit better. And it's okay that we've broke a bit of glass. We can always replace it. Now, with the oak wood fence, we want to place fence in the corners again so just above the spruce wood slabs we want to place oak wood fence now we want to add an additional layer we want to add a spruce wood slab coming inwards from each one of the four corners again so where the stairs are where the spruce wood slabs are we want to add another layer and then you can add just another row as well so you just want to have that center hole open like that then come to the very top of the build and throw a water bucket right at the top of the build like this we're flooding with water at the moment but that's okay because we're going to seal this hole that we have here with a hopper so maybe we'll have to do this in a different way maybe we'll have to place a hopper here and then okay we'll have to place a different block there like a glass and then we want to place a hopper next to it so that will plug the gap the water will dissipate and we have now water flowing down into the bottle all the way up to the top and that looks great and now we can talk about doing the inside a little bit so for the inside of this place and um, one of the cool features of this is that it kind of has like a fire cauldron going off in the middle so if you find the very middle of the potion hut which is this block right here it's all, all in the middle of everything and you place yourself a uh, you place yourself a nice uh, never rack and you place a cauldron above it like this then if you do kind of like it's like a ring of stone brick stairs that goes all the way around the cauldron so you'll still get to see the fire like this because maybe we'll even place the fire one row higher um yeah maybe maybe we will so maybe we'll place the cauldron like here so that it's hovering above so you can actually see it and then we'll set this block on fire by using our flint and steel and then we'll need a way to suspend the cauldron from the ceiling. So some spruce wood fence will work nicely left and right of the hopper like this. So it kind of looks like it's being suspended from the ceiling. Now, for everywhere else inside this hut, I mean, it's basically a big load of storage space. So you're going to want to alter this however you can in ways to 
elicit a bit more space but I'm going to place an upside down spruce wood fence left right and in front of me like on the sides in the middle and then I want to use some potion uh, some brewing stands and some chests I'm going to place chests inside of each uh, basically just inside of each one of the three sides like next to the spruce wood stairs and then i'll place a brewing stand on top of each one of the stairs like this and if you want to you can also alter the uh you can also alter the um the floor of your brewing uh your brewing hut um your potion hut so you can do this in any way that you want i'm actually just um i'm actually kind of freestyling this at the moment because i'm thinking um, it might be a bit better if the if the chests and stuff were actually suspended one row off the ground and it kind of like adds a little bit more depth than it would um, previously so instead of using just like solid plank blocks or anything crazy like that adding a little bit of uh, this would be so much easier if the chests weren't there so I'm gonna get rid of the chests and uh, I'll put them in again um, but it, it might just add a little bit of depth and it might just look a little bit nicer so I don't know maybe maybe it looks good I mean it does mean that things are kind of like hanging off the floor now but that's okay. That's not too bad. I actually don't want anything left and right of me as I walk in this uh, walk in here. And I could always have just like a regular spruce wood stair here. Kind of like that. Or maybe I'll just have like the upside down version. You can kind of walk in and around. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do with the inside. It feels a little bit... A little bit full. It feels a little bit full, like when you typically walk in here without the slabs on the floor. I, I realize that I'm just missing a chest. But I mean, it's kind of up to you how you want to alter it. Um, plus, something that you can do, but I didn't do this um, in the original. You can place some like flower pots and stuff kind of like around the place. And you can then just fill them with flowers because I guess that another component to like brewing and stuff It's like having a load of flowers about so I mean this is kind of a cool idea It doesn't look good as good in the thumbnail though, which is kind of like why I didn't do it But um, having some flowers around definitely increases the functionality of this place or at least seemingly and uh, Adds a nice little bit of color. You can actually see it from the outside. I actually quite like that I actually quite like having the flowers added in there so, if you were curious as to how you might want to do the outside of the hut, um, if you want it like you saw it at the beginning of the video, some stone slabs are good for this. And we also need some oak wood stairs as well. Maybe even some oak wood slabs. Um, some spruce wood stairs uh, would also look good. And we also need some oak wood fence. Plus some green hardened clay and some lime hardened clay. Now, I actually quite like it like this. I don't think it particularly needs like a fence around it. But I, I did show it you at the start of the video. So, uh, I'm going to dig in front of the potion. And we are missing a thing for the hut, by the way. Um, we're actually missing the white banner um, that we have as we walk in the hut. That's uh, that's placed right there. And then um, we're allowed to walk in the hut. Oh, also, I, I it turns out that I didn't fill in all of those gaps. For the potion hut. What a surprise. There we go. There we go. That's looking a little bit better now, isn't it? So, um, I'm going to extend out in front of the hut by, let's say, like three with the... Yeah, like three. One, two, three with the stone slabs. Um, then going to place... Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I'm going to place upside down, no, regular facing oak wood stairs. Like, this is hard to do because I built this above a cave. Like, this is kind of difficult for me to do. But I'm going to place, like, oak wood, uh, oak wood stairs left and right of this. And I'm also going to place... Going around the base of our potion hut. I'm going to kind of have, like, some oak wood kind of like just bordering on the outside of it. So underneath everywhere that you'd see these spruce slabs, I'm going to add some oak wood slabs as well. And I'm also going to kind of like extend it outwards a little bit. Um, this would be a lot easier if I wasn't building this on top of a cave. But I mean, I, gu I guess you can kind of see what I'm doing here anyway. So um, you just want to add all of the oak wood planks going all the way around like this and then we want to add another layer of planks going all the way around well it's not actually planks we want to add slabs going all the way around what we've just made and this creates a little bit of depth and it is also going to create like the way that we're going to walk around the hut so i'm now going to add a layer of 
um, oak wood slabs that go all the way around the base of this thing, like connecting each one of the oak wood planks together, um, even on the sides like this. And I'll also connect it to the stairs on the front as well, like that. And then what we can have is we can have like a little walkway that takes us all the way around the hut. So we can take this very end, um, we can underneath it, I should point out, we can take underneath this very end sideways facing oak wood stair and we can like in the ground extend a lime green clay like outwards and it wants to kind of like trace along the shape of the potion hut like this if you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of difficult to see what I'm doing, I understand. But uh, we want to extend this backwards. And it wants to connect all the way back. It wants to connect all the way back to here. Right all the way back to the hut. Like that. And if you like, what you can then do is... Actually, no, I uh, I take that back. I was going to say something ridiculous. But um, then just, like, connect the opposite side as well. So it's the same thing. You just, like, trace along the outside of the shape. And once it's all dug out, it'll all look nice. It'll make the place look a little bit squarer. Um, I actually prefer it, like I said, I prefer it to be kind of, like, freestanding. I don't really want it to be... Um, I don't really want to square it off, I quite like the shape as it is, like a big potion bottle, but if you do want it to be a little bit more defended, if you do want to be able to walk around it a little bit, then I'd place that there. And then add a little bit of green hardened clay to the inside of this. So, um, everywhere else just add a little bit of green hardened clay like that. You may also find that you want to extend it outwards with another layer of like oak wood slabs and then you can kind of like build these up a little bit. You might find that you like that effect more rather than having more green. That's completely up to you of course. But that's what you can kind of do. So you can see how the that part's made. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a layer of uh, I'm going to add a layer of upside down spruce wood stairs going all the way around the edge of what we've just made. So they're going to face inwards like this, and also I need the stone slab right at the end here. Um, so I'm going to place these going all the way around the edge of what I've just made, the upside down spruce stairs, and it's going to connect everything together. It's also going to kind of like add to the depth because they're not being placed in the opposite way. And then I'm going to place oak wood fence on top of them. Now, none of this is what is like essential. None of this is 100% important for your potion hut. It just looks kind of nice, I think. And it might not even fit in your village specifically, but um, I mean, it's, it's kind of up to you whether you want to add this or not. And I just realized we're also missing something from the uh, actual entrance, like an important bit to the potion hut. So I'll show you that in just a moment, what, we, what we've actually missed. But if you do want to kind of like put a border around this, if you want to stop any sort of wildlife getting to it, then this is, this is something that looks quite good. It kind of like fits the shape of your potion hut and uh, it doesn't look too bad and it kind of like keeps with the green theme. But right at the beginning of this build, um, you can see that we have kind of like these, uh, uh, you can see where we have these upside down spruce wood stairs. Well, if you place a spruce wood fence on top of each one of the stairs and then a spruce wood stairs on top of the fence and then you place a spruce wood slab to connect them together, then you have the entrance of the potion hut. So, the only thing that I'm lacking now is I'm lacking the uh, dark green clay, or the hardened clay rather, and uh, the dark green hardened clay, is that what it's called? The green hardened clay, just green. Um, I'm lacking this, and I'm also lacking the additional oak wood slabs um, on the front, because I don't have to add them on the back. So, that's all I'm lacking here. It shouldn't take too long for me to add. And once again, as I keep saying over and over again, I really wish that I didn't build this over a cave. I actually filled this in just before the tutorial. So, I'm just going to add an additional layer of oak wood slabs here, but... Once again, do kind of like whatever you want. It's completely up to you. These are kind of cool because it also adds a little bit of a shape up front as well. but And it gives it a bit of like a defense. But it's completely up to you. And if, if you were building it like in your village, like I am, then you might want to add kind of like a little bit of a beaten path using grass path to kind of just lure people to the potion hut. But 
Um, that's kind of like up to you, whatever you want to do. And then if you wanted to add some, let's say, flowers or something, like going all the way around the outside, then that's something you might want to add. But there you go, that's a potion hut. I think that it's pretty... I think that it's pretty striking in this village. I think you know where to go for all of your potion-related needs. And I love the fact that we have a bit more colour in there as well now, too. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like, give it a share. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Check it out. Not only do we build stuff like this, but we build entire survival villagers, which you can find in the con system and the description below. But we also do more modern builds too. I'll show you that later. Comment down below what else you'd like to see next. Very interested to see what you guys have to suggest. Follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360. Follow me there, show me pictures of the Potion Hut if you build it, and other stuff that you've made. Love to see that stuff. Also, check out the cards and the description below, because like I said, not only do we make stuff like this, not only do we make entire little survival villagers, but we also do more modern builds as well. This is a cross-section of a city that I'm working on here. We have a chip shop, a pet shop, a Wendy's. We have a church, we have a graveyard, we have a train station, a couple of trains. Well, only one train in this video, actually. Plus, we have a couple of townhouses. We have an entire park and a supermarket. Plus, over there, we have the beginnings of a theme park. Just have to move past the fog and you might be able to see a ferris wheel so we kind of do all sorts of things around here check out the cards in the description below if you'd like to see more of these things you can check out my real world buildings playlist which is this stuff this is my city playlist and if you check out my park builds playlist then you'll find everything that you need to recreate this thing um so check it out i'm sure you'll like it Subscribe, like I said, guys, like and share if you wouldn't mind. Comment down below, follow me on Twitter, at TSMC360. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom.